Shalom, 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 brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome to Call to Conquer. My name is Rhonda, and I pray you all had a great day today. Um, so the title of this video is Get Your House in Order. I actually had this dream um, sometime in January. And uh, it wasn't too long, brothers and sisters, but it was it just like, you know, the name of it says get your house in order that's what i was going around telling people um brothers and sisters uh y'all had me in the dream going around telling everybody to get their house in order and um the particular people in the dream weren't um like your typical believers and stuff like they 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 believed in y'all but you know as far as being like um part of a uh uh body of believers or a church or whatever what have you um or just your typical traditional looking uh believers they weren't that like um they uh i would say they were more in the world but the good thing about this brothers and sisters is that unlike a lot of believers today when y'all have me going to them and telling them and they don't believe these people actually believed and so I was just going around and uh at Miss the setting in a dream, brothers and sisters, I was walking around outside and it looked very, very dreary outside. And it was like almost like a foreshadowing of was what was to come in America. And I guess even over the whole world, brothers and sisters, and so when I said was telling them to get your house in order, I wasn't just telling them about their soul, I was telling them about their actual house. I was telling them to anoint their houses with oil. I was telling them to uh, be led on what to stock up on. And because uh, y'all let me know in the dream that another shutdown was coming, brothers and sisters. And I knew I had the sense that we weren't going to be able to come out for a while. And so he he wanted me, he had me going around just telling people this, like, you know, Make sure you got everything you need for an extended uh, period of time, uh, brothers and sisters, because um, things were not going to be well. Um, as a matter of fact, I know a while back, I think last year or year before last, I did a video on how, you know, y'all had me warn my family. And um, I even told them to warn the, ch the church they were attending to, um, you know, make sure they have enough stock up on enough stuff to where if we like we go through another shutdown which will be longer than the one we had with covid um brothers and sisters then you know you have what you need and obviously if you can't afford that y'all will provide but at least y'all wanted me to warn them and so during that time he told me i had never seen the movie contagion and he told me to go look at the movie well go look up the movie contagion i didn't look at it i read the uh you know plot or whatever and a very 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 infectious virus was going around to where people were catching it was catching it um you know just like it was airborne our uh, brothers and sisters and yes they had to stay inside and so y'all just told me he said this is going to be way longer um he told me back then and so in the dream going back to this dream at first, they looked at me, and you could see the hesitance, see on their face. But eventually, I knew like y'all let me know they were gonna listen. And I even saw, um, like he had me going to somebody that looked like uh, an entertainer, um, a celebrity or whatever. And uh, surprisingly, she listened, uh, brothers and sisters. So, you know, I'm. I can't say I'm not really surprised. Like I said, um, when the Yah even has me warning people that are not self-proclaimed believers or whatever, or, you know, that just admit that they're not following Yah like how they're supposed to, they take they take the things that he gives me more serious than the actual believers that's supposed to be aware of these things um already, brothers and sisters. That's unfortunate. Um, it shouldn't be that way, but that's from my experience, the world 
um, actually receives the things y'all has me to uh, tell them more. So my warning to you is to, yes, get your house in order, not only your spiritual house, but your physical house, um, brothers and sisters, shutdowns are coming. Okay. Shut down another shutdown, a longer extended, uh, shutdown is most definitely, um, coming. And he had me warning in the past to can, um, you know, I know many people have been homesteading and getting their foods and stuff. And, um, Here's the thing, brothers and sisters, I don't ever, one thing you will never hear me do is give a timeline for anything, okay? Um, I just say what y'all gives me to say and I leave it at that. You know, if you guys want the details, you can go and you can pray to y'all and ask them because I always tell y'all to pray about everything you hear, including what I say, you know, and I just feel like that's y'all's business. My job is to believe and to prepare and to warn as he um, leads me to warn brothers and sisters. Um, so I have videos on famine coming. Um, right now it's just a matter of the prophecies unfolding and, and many prophecies are unfolding, uh, brothers and sisters. So, and he telling me to tell you guys about this other dream I had. So I think I had this dream in March, but, uh, in this particular dream, brothers and sisters, um, I was, I remember driving down, uh, this highway and it was daylight brothers and sisters. Um, but then it went, it, uh, as time went on, it was sunny outside. It was hot. And when I went to go look again, snow brothers and sisters covered the ground. So basically strange weather, the weather was like one minute it was hot. The next minute it was cold, like snow. I'm talking about snow everywhere and cars were coming towards me on the highway and they could barely drive brothers and sisters. And as I'm going out of the dream, um, I, uh, uh, a hole opens up in the, in the ground, like a, uh, I guess like an earthquake. And, uh, it feels like my car, my car. And I, I remember thinking, Oh my goodness. So Matthew 24 and many other scriptures are, are un unfolding themselves, brothers and sisters, the book of revelation, who has time to, to be playing with sin playing in sin uh, no not only did the scripture say that no man know the day know that i want the son of man comes but you don't know when death coming brothers and sisters i can't tell you how many people are passing away from various uh diseases um from car accidents from uh homicides and even demons getting in people making them kill themselves and stuff like we don't have time to be playing get your house in order get your house in order brothers and sisters this isn't gloom and doom this is the word of yah this is a warning when you start christ when you start seeing these things he said the end is not yet these are the beginning of sorrows though and you don't want to be caught off guard, brothers and sisters. You don't want to be caught off guard. In my dreams, many people are always caught off guard. Sometimes I feel like I'm caught off guard, but the Lord always makes a way for me. He always makes a way for me, brothers and sisters. He will always protect those that have been fasting and praying and worshiping him doing this then during the summer he told us to be like the end and when i say summer i don't mean an actual season i mean the time where the good days he said uh, during the day he said because when night come no man can work he told us to be like the ants who prepare for the winter time and the summertime we have to be wise like the ants brothers and sisters 
Don't wait until destruction is at your doorstep to prepare. The purpose of prophecy is to prepare you. Scriptures say despise not prophesying. Pro- despise not prophecy. Okay. You know, many Yah has is pouring out his spirit on many people and they're giving these warnings and don't just, you know, listen to them and go about your, your, uh, day like, you know, Hey, you just didn't hear, um, the warning, do something about it. Take action. If you're not able to take action, you're always able to pray about it. So whatever you need, you got to, you got to know the just shall live by faith and, and y'all will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. So God bless. Hello, brothers and sisters. Um, God placed this song on my heart, um, a little while ago and he told me to sing it as a warning, not only to, um, America, but to all the nations of the world, whoever sees this, even to myself. Um, And I pray that we take heed to the song. Get your house in order. Do it today. Get your house in order. Do it right away. For Jesus is coming, no man knows where and when. Get your house in order, for he's coming back again. You know there's earthquakes, hurricanes. Fame and disease. Can't you see my God talking to you? You better take heed. Get your house in order. Do it today. Get your house in order. Get your house in order, oh, do it today. Get your house in order, oh.